Did you know that the image of Jesus we've been shown for centuries might be completely wrong? Europe has always tried to depict Jesus as a fair white man with blue eyes, long blonde hair, and tall height. This was further strengthened by paintings from the 15th century, where Jesus appeared much like a typical European man. But does this prove Jesus was white? Well, not necessarily. Recently, Russia opened its centuries-old vaults and cellars, where untampered paintings from the 14th and 15th centuries were found. These paintings, revealed by Russia, prove that Jesus was not white but black. He, his mother, and the people around him were all black. That's a groundbreaking revelation, questioning why Europe depicted Jesus as white until now. Because Russia did not actively participate in Europe's propaganda of whitewashed religious paintings, the depictions we see in Russia are unique, preserving reality. Join us as we unravel the hidden truth behind centuries of whitewashed religious paintings and uncover the shocking reality that challenges centuries of European propaganda. Recently, Russia has been in the spotlight for revealing some religious paintings that have raised various questions. Acting on Russian President Vladimir Putin's directive, one of Russia's most treasured icons was transferred from a museum to a cathedral in Moscow. These paintings, concealed within vaults for centuries, have now been unveiled to the public, profoundly altering our perception of Jesus, his mother, and his disciples. But how exactly? Interestingly, cathedrals around the world do have paintings like the ones found in Russian vaults, but with one difference. In the Russian ones, Jesus, the Virgin Mary, and the people around Jesus are black. Except for this difference, both paintings depict almost the same sights, causing people to question whether the paintings in Europe were tempered. The paintings discovered in Russia trace back to the 12th century, and even before that, indicating their authenticity. This is because Russia had direct connections with the Byzantine Empire during that time, where any deviation in religious paintings would have been promptly noted. It suggests that the paintings in the Byzantine Empire's churches also depicted Jesus, his mother, and his community as black. But before delving into why this variation exists, let's first understand the content of these paintings. Referred to as Russian icons, these paintings constitute a vast collection portraying various aspects of Jesus' life and his era. In his book, Russian Icons, Father Vladimir Ivanov extensively examines Russian iconography offering insights into their historical context, symbolism, and spiritual importance. Father Ivanov's book, Russian Icons, provides readers with a detailed look at Russian iconography. While these artworks portray various scenes, they all have something in common. They depict Jesus, his mother, individuals, and even angels as black. In his book, Father Ivanov discusses the artistic techniques used in Russian icon painting such as egg temper paint and gold leaf, and traditional iconographic methods like hieratic composition and stylized forms. By exploring the role of Russian iconography in painting and its significance in orthodox devotional practices, including veneration and processions, the book highlights how icons deeply impact the spiritual lives of believers. Some of these paintings even show events from before Jesus' time. For instance, Andrei Rublev's Trinity illustrates the biblical narrative of three angels visiting the patriarch Abraham at the Oak of Mamre, as recounted in the book of Genesis. Within Christian belief, this event symbolizes the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, revealing themselves to Abraham as three guests. However, what is striking in this painting is the dark complexion of all depicted figures. Then comes the painting of Saints Peter and Paul, who played crucial roles in the early development and spread of the Christian faith, especially following Jesus Christ's crucifixion. Even though the European version of this painting shows both the saints as white men with blonde hair, the painting found in Russian vaults depicts them as black. Saint Peter is shown as an elderly man with a white beard, dressed in traditional attire that signifies his role as one of Jesus' apostles and the first Pope of the Catholic Church. He is often depicted holding keys, representing his authority as the keeper of the keys to the kingdom of heaven. 
as described in the New Testament. On the other hand, St. Paul is typically portrayed as a bearded man wearing the customary clothing of a Roman citizen, reflecting his dual identity as both a Jew and a Roman. He is shown holding a book, symbolizing his roles as a preacher and the author of numerous letters found in the New Testament, which profoundly impacted Christian theology and doctrine. Both Peter and Paul are traditionally believed to have been martyred for their faith, with Peter facing crucifixion upside down and Paul being executed by beheading. Another painting of significance is titled The Sign, portraying a key event in Christian tradition known as the Sign of the Theotokos. In this depiction, the Virgin Mary, also known as the Theotokos, is shown standing with her arms extended in prayer, facing forward. Typically placed at the artwork's focal point, she is surrounded by a gathering of angels or celestial beings. The scene often features Mary's image within or above a church or temple, symbolizing her divine presence. Beams of light radiate from Mary, symbolizing her spiritual brilliance and connection to God. The sign represents a miracle attributed to the Virgin Mary, believed to have appeared in the sky in response to prayer or as a symbol of divine intervention. This event is associated with notions of protection, guidance, and blessings provided by the Virgin Mary. The painting serves as a visual portrayal of Mary's intercession and her role as a beacon of hope and solace for believers. In no way does she appear white in the painting. Then, there is the painting of the Virgin Mary at the center of the painting. The painting shows the Virgin Mary in a dark complexion, assuming a posture of kindness and humility, with her gaze fixed upon her son. Her clothing often reflects her revered role as the Mother of God, adorned in intricate garments symbolizing her spiritual importance. Among the paintings is the Saint Michael appearing to Joshua, which illustrates a significant event from the Old Testament. In this scene, Saint Michael, depicted as a dark-colored warrior and protector, appears before Joshua, who succeeded Moses as the leader of the Israelites and guided them into the Promised Land. The narrative depicted in the painting is taken from the book of Joshua, specifically from Joshua 5, verses 13-15. In this passage, Joshua encounters a mysterious figure with a drawn sword standing before him. When Joshua approaches the figure and questions his allegiance, the figure identifies himself as the commander of the army of the Lord, indicating that he represents God's divine authority. Next, we have the artwork titled Savior of Yaroslavl, portraying a revered image of Jesus Christ. This piece is known as Christ Pantocrator, depicted with a dark complexion. Such portrayal is typical in Orthodox Christian art and holds significant spiritual importance. This painting shows Christ as the supreme ruler and judge of the universe, seated on a throne as the divine monarch. Typically, he holds a gospel book in his left hand, symbolizing his role as the divine teacher and the embodiment of God's word. Christ's facial expression is usually serene yet authoritative, reflecting his power and compassion as humanity's savior. His eyes are often depicted as penetrating and all-seeing, symbolizing his omniscience and divine wisdom. Named after the city of Yaroslavl in Russia, where it is housed, the savior of Yaroslavl painting exemplifies Russian iconography, showcasing the region's distinctive artistic style and cultural heritage. Before we continue, please let us know if you are enjoying the video. If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on the rich and diverse heritage of black history. Let's continue now. Then comes the famous painting titled Savior in a Golden Riza, an icon portraying Jesus Christ adorned with a golden riza that takes center stage. In Orthodox Christian tradition, a riza is a metal covering or frame that embellishes an icon, often made from gold or silver. The painting focuses on Jesus Christ, depicted in traditional Orthodox iconography. The golden riza has a halo encircling his head, symbolizing his divine nature. Notably, Jesus is depicted with a dark brown or black complexion. The elaborate design of the golden riza surrounding Jesus' icon features detailed patterns, engravings, 
and sometimes even gemstones. It represents the reverence and significance of Christ's image in Orthodox worship. Moreover, the Riza acts as a visual representation of the magnificence and splendor of God, reinforcing the belief in Jesus Christ as the Lord of all things. It presents a specific portrayal of the Virgin Mary cradling baby Jesus in a close embrace with their cheeks touching. This depiction underscores the intimate bond between mother and child, symbolizing Mary's role as a compassionate successor and protector of humanity. In this painting, Jesus and Mary exhibit not only a darker complexion, but a black one, echoing the same theme found in other artworks. In the collection, there's a painting titled Our Lady of Saint Theodore. It shows the Virgin Mary cradling baby Jesus, often depicted as a young child, with her right hand raised in a blessing gesture. The Virgin Mary is closely tied to the protection of Constantinople and is highly regarded as a guardian and patroness of the Byzantine Emirate Empire. Once again, Jesus and his mother are portrayed as black, not white. And his people are depicted as black, while the rest of Europe whitewashed such artworks. But is it true that the paintings found in Russian vaults could have aged with time? This depiction might make some wonder only Jesus and his mother were black. However, according to these paintings, the people surrounding Jesus and his mother were also shown as black. For instance, Jesus with John the Baptist and the Virgin shows John the Baptist and the Virgin Mary mediating alongside Christ. They are depicted in positions of authority and judgment, appealing to Christ on behalf of humanity. What's interesting is that all of them have incredibly dark complexions. Considering these paintings raises questions about Jesus' background and appearance. Jesus' black lineage holds historical importance, situating him within a specific historical period and cultural context, much like his followers. For centuries, the dominant portrayal of Jesus in Western cultures has been as a fair-skinned man with long, wavy, light brown, or blonde hair. However, the Bible does not offer a physical description of Jesus, and evidence suggests he likely looked quite different from this typical depiction. Biblical records indicate Jesus was a Jewish man born in Bethlehem and raised in Nazareth, Galilee, during the first century. While the Bible mentions Jesus starting his ministry around age 30, it provides little detail about his physical appearance except to suggest that he did not possess extraordinary beauty or stand out physically. Another reference in Revelation 1, 14 to 15, describes Jesus with features reminiscent of black characteristics, such as hair like wool, fiery eyes, and glowing bronze feet. But why does Russia differ in its portrayal of Jesus and his people as black in religious artworks? The reason lies in Russia's separation from the Byzantine church during the era of whitewashing religious paintings. This disconnect stemmed from the Mongol invasion and occupation of Russia and the expansion of the Byzantine Empire, known as the Golden Horde, which profoundly impacted the region's ties with the Byzantine Empire and the broader Christian world. Starting in the early 13th century, the Mongols launched a series of military campaigns, establishing the Mongol Empire, one of history's largest continuous land empires. This expansion brought them into contact with various civilizations, including Russia. Before this, Russia had strong connections with the Byzantine Empire, and large parts of Russia essentially adopted its religious beliefs. In 1237, the Mongols launched a devastating invasion of the Russian principalities, which were fragmented and unable to mount a unified defense. This invasion culminated in the Battle of the Sight River in 1238, where the Mongols emerged victorious. They gained control over the region and established the Golden Horde as a vassal state, imposing tribute on Russian princes. The Mongol occupation reshaped Russia's connections with the Byzantine Empire. Before the invasion, Russia had embraced Byzantine Christianity regarding Constantinople, the Byzantine capital, as its spiritual center. However, the Mongol invasion disrupted these ties, severing communication and trade routes with Byzantium and imposing administrative structures that occasionally clashed with the authority of the Russian Orthodox Church. It is believed that before the invasion, both Russia and the Byzantine Empire were in a similar state. However, 
After the invasion, the whitewashing of religious artworks began in Europe, unlike in Russia, which remained under Mongol rule for another 250 years. Consequently, Russia stands alone in preserving religious artworks, where Jesus and his people are depicted as black, while the rest of Europe whitewashed such artworks. But is it true that the paintings found in Russian vaults could have aged with time? Many Europeans hold the belief that the artworks portraying Jesus, Mary, and Joseph were painted by them, depicting white individuals. However, over time, the colors in these paintings have darkened. Nevertheless, this argument lacks strength. This is evident because paintings housed in European churches have not experienced color changes due to aging. If the aging process indeed affected paintings, one would expect all paintings to undergo color alteration and turn dark. Yet, this hasn't been the case. Additionally, even if one argues that aging impacts colors, why is it only the skin tone that changes? Why do other elements, such as clothing, retain their original colors? Interestingly, in Russian paintings, elements of white and lighter colors are present in their original form. This means that if they are still white to this day, but the complexion of Jesus and his mother is dark, then it was made so deliberately because it's a fact. Do you still believe that Jesus, his mother, and his people were white like Europeans? Or are these untampered and centuries-old paintings real, showing Jesus as black? Would you like to see these paintings in Russian museums? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. If this video was informative and you want to watch more like it, click the subscribe button and press the bell icon. We share the hidden, rich, and diverse heritage of our black history. Click the next video for an even more intriguing revelation. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next video.